there, my name is Failure and in this video I'll try to explain what was going through my mind while playing the RU2 one on AP. At the beginning I went to the middle and couldn't really do a lot there, so after a few minutes I decided to go to the 1-2 line to shoot the mediums in the middle and help the heavies if needed. Just trying to keep distance to the bushes in front of me so I don't get spotted. And now, since they had already taken the middle, I don't have shots on the tanks driving up there anymore. I went back. At first I thought about fighting those heavies at the corner, but then I spotted the I-7 in the northeast pushing our base, so I decided to deal with that. T49 just in time, so I could kill him without taking any damage. Now I saw the M103 fighting against this single out E75. You could see just some bad shots by me. But in the end it didn't really matter too much. And with them on a free killing the T30, I first wanted to kill the artillery. But then the I7 got spotted up in the north. So I decided to help our tanks up there. Because I'm a light tank, I cannot really fight a heavy tank face to face. And because I still have over 700 HP, I decided to go forward, despite the possibility of the I-7 being behind him. And we eventually got the kill. I actually wanted to keep pushing down with the M103, but he, for whatever reason, did not.
And since we hadn't seen the enemy tanks for quite a while, I was trying to get some information about the positions. Then that Patton got spotted. I was thinking about dropping down and killing him from behind. But then the i 7 appeared. Because I still have enough HP, I wanted to go and just take the shot and kill him. But then the artillery changed that. After that I decided to go for the T-54A1, who had just, be, just killed our artillery. Because in a situation like this you should always try to find single out enemies and kill them one on one. Always aim your shots carefully, because if you don't, then something like this can happen to you as well. Now that they had only one normal tank left, and there was no cap pressure put on by the enemy, I decided to go for the artillery. After being lucky enough to survive this, I decided that taking the fastest way possible would be the best thing to do since I wanted to have enough time to maneuver around not play the S7. I got a free decap, which really helped. And I tried to keep this bush between the i7 and myself, so he wouldn't be able to spot me early and shoot. I still got spotted, but that wasn't too bad, since he now expected me to go up on the east. And after getting unspotted, I actually went for the western side. Luckily for me, my mind game worked and I could just circle around the i7 and kill him. And because the time was running pretty low, I had to go for the enemy cap right away without even having the chance to get safe from artillery.
and I got them capped just in time, as it takes 100 seconds to fully capture the base. And I really expected the T-92 to be up there. But as it will turn out later, he was not actually hiding there. Because artillery is really inaccurate without being fully aimed. I had an easy time killing him here. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments below. And if you liked this video, please consider subscribing to our channel and don't forget to tune in to our live stream on Twitch.